What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Matty J, aka SK All Day Scrub Killer. Oh my goodness. This right here is going to be a rant video, you guys. I do not care about the gameplay. I do not care about anything that is going on with this particular video that is playing on your screen right now. I am here to talk about the MW3 Modern Warfare 3 Elite Season content. They released their calendar. Uh, sh showcasing everything that's supposed to be coming out uh, for the elite members from the month of January all the way to September and this is what is supposed to be coming out you guys as you guys already know the uh, January is pretty much almost over and we got two maps which was liberation and Piazza okay liberation very big map Piazza okay map close quarters maps submachine gun shotgun friendly okay not a problem February they're coming out with one map March they're coming out with a map a spec ops mission and another spec ops mission so two spec ops and one map in april they're coming out with two maps in may one map one spec ops mission in june one map one spec ops mission and one game mode type so that's like how they incorporated drop zone into the playlist they're going to incorporate another game mode into the game in june july two maps august one map a spec ops mission and another game mode that's that's gonna be coming in August and September one map and one spec ops mission now you heard me say map a few times in there but the thing is is there should be way more content than what is coming out now look I understand that a lot of people like doing spec ops mission I have no problem with people liking spec ops missions or anything like that but where do all the Call of Duties make their money and why do majority of the people buy the game is for the multiplayer so why would you not incorporate more multiplayer maps over spec ops mission uh, maps it doesn't make sense to me look they're coming out with 11 maps which sounds fine and dandy but the thing is is they're spread out in such a far vast area that it doesn't even matter how many maps they come out with 11 is not enough what what had been floating around was it was supposed to be two maps every month until the end until you know until uh, the end of September and getting everybody pumped up and jazzed up for the next Call of Duty game that comes that's going to come out in November and whatnot but they didn't they they one one map in the entire month of February so that means that these two maps that we already just got they're going to get played out with within let's say two weeks tops at least two weeks people are going to get tired of them people are going to stop see they're going to see the same thing over and over again people camping or people running around with a shotgun doesn't matter in the month of february they're bringing you one map in march they're still bringing you one map that's two maps in a two months time period what is so difficult about creating more maps you guys have been working on this thing for forever infinity ward and you guys can't come out with more maps than that i mean look I don't know any of the people, I don't know what it takes to create a map or anything like that, but the people and all the money that they are making off of us in this game, not just the game alone, you have to understand, we are, you guys already paid and I already paid 60 what some odd dollars for the video game. And then the millions of people that got Call of Duty Elite Premium paid an extra 50 plus dollars. That's what? let's say let's round it off to 120 bucks that's 120 bucks for how many tens of millions of people that bought this game are you serious really and you guys can't afford to put more maps in the game come on like I'm not rich and famous nothing like that but I could just see all these dudes with their little troll face counting their cash in the Bahamas sipping on margaritas just laughing at the fact that they did it to us again they basically bent us over and I'm not gonna say the rest but you guys can figure it out yourselves you guys know what they basically did to us they basically just screwed us and now Am I still going to play the game? Of course. I'm still going to play the game because why? You guys want the content, so I'm going to provide you with the content. But if you guys have any suggestions of any other video games that need to come out, please let me know and I will start posting those gameplays and those games for you because this is just unbelievable. I'm tired of supporting a franchise like this that just honestly in my in my mind doesn't care about the people. 
like they care to an extent because they want to make money off of us so they give us a, just a teeny little bit just 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 enough to keep us coming back but the thing is people are already leaving the franchise that's the thing that they don't understand that's the thing that and the thing is they're not bothered by it they really don't care they're, they're not bothered by the by the fact that oh well we lost a couple thousand people well guess what we still have the other tens of millions that are around so we're, we'll be okay it's like oh my goodness you know what all right whatever but look, this gameplay is coming to an end, you guys. Uh, that's all I really got to say about the Modern Warfare 3 franchise and Infinity Ward and how they work as a staff and as a whole. But hope you guys enjoyed my little rant for Modern Warfare 3, y'all. It's your boy SK. I'm out, man. Peace.